Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Anita from Mylon Family Chiropractic Center. You're riding in the car with the Cairo. So today's topic is a cool one. I'm excited to talk to you about it because a couple of people have asked me. So I figured who better to talk about it than me because everybody's asking about it. So last week I had the privilege and honor of adjusting a brand new baby, brand new baby, a week old. And a bunch of my patients coming into the practice, I had no idea you were just new babies. I knew you had that baby table back there, and I know you have that kid's corner where all the toys are, and I've seen kids come in, but a brand new baby? Oh my God, weren't you scared? And it was amazing conversation, and I realized that I was very neglectful, hi Kathy, very neglectful in talking about why every human being should have their spine and nervous system checked. So I figured this is the perfect forum for me to share with you why a brand new baby needs to have their spine and nervous system checked. Real simple. The birth process is tough. It's tough and traumatic, not only for mama, because she's pushing out a basketball in some cases, but it's tough on the baby because as the baby is coming through the birthing canal, sometimes many times the baby can in transit get stuck in there as mom is having a contraction and the baby's neck is in there ah, and you get all this stress going on when the baby's coming through the canal there are other challenges that happen when a baby gets born if it's not a natural vaginal delivery you can also have difficulties with a c-section where they pull the baby out in a C-section, they typically grab under the armpit. And what happens is we see in babies born C-section have a much higher incidence of asthma and allergies. We see that all across the chiropractic profession because when they do that, all the stress is in the upper, upper back, lower neck area. And that happens to be the area of the nervous system that supplies your lungs and your immune system, right? Another way that babies can be born and this horrifies me, but I understand that sometimes intervention is necessary, is they'll use forceps. Holy Moses. So what happens is they clamp on the head and they pull up and they stretch the neck and the spinal cord. And when they do that, it puts an incredible amount of distress in the lower neck area, causing the spine to shift out of alignment. When that spine shifts out of alignment, it irritates the nervous system. The nervous system controls everything in the body and hence the body won't work right. Example of some of that would be a baby who has latching issues. They cannot latch onto the breast or the bottle. Good morning, Stephanie, welcome. Because of the distress that happened as a result because they're pulling up on there and you can see my neck muscles imagine a brand new baby starting out with life being stretched like that because they've clamped on their head with forceps right it's kind of like those clamps we use on uh, our crabs to pull them out of the the pot the crab pot i know that sounds very graphic but it's really the truth right and then the other process which really makes me cringe is a vacuum extraction delivery they use 120 to 140 pounds of pressure, put a suction cup on the baby's head and use a vacuum suction to pull the baby out. Well, I can't remember who did the research, but I remember reading about it. The research says that you can completely decapitate a newborn's head from their body only requires 90 to 110 pounds of pressure. So they're using 120 to 140 pounds of pressure to do vacuum extraction and you know, suction cup on the head and then sucking them out. All that pressure and distress is happening here at the upper neck area. Well, let's talk about that for a moment. The upper neck area is where the spinal cord is fattest, right? That's where all the communication goes to the rest of the body. So we do not want to create distress at that area. So this is the rationale behind why every newborn baby should have their spine and nervous system checked by a chiropractor who takes care of children and babies. Not every chiropractor does that, so make sure the chiropractor you go to, if you don't live near me and it's not me, you go to a chiropractor who also runs a family practice and they take care of babies 
and children as well because it's very different type of chiropractic adjustment that we give for a newborn baby than what we would do on the 250 pound guy who does construction for a living and is a bodybuilder kind of example, right? So it's so important that a baby gets the opportunity to start their life out expressing 100% of their life potential. And the only way we can make sure we do that is a chiropractor must check their spine and nervous system. And let's say that the birth process seems to be fairly quick. This mama, she had a six hour start to finish delivery, which is amazing. Let's talk about the fact that when they're in utero, sometimes they find a little spot that they like to kind of curl up in and their butt gets stuck in that spot because they like it, it feels comfortable. Well, when they arch their butt and their back into that area, their spine can get out of alignment in the lower spine. And that can lead to pooping problems. Yes, I said it, pooping problems or colic. And those are things that we chiropractors can resolve by just adjusting their spine and nervous system, restoring the communication between the brain and the body so the body can go about working the way it's designed to. So I hope that gave you a little bit of information as to why a brand new baby starting out in life should have their spine and nervous system checked. It's so important and they deserve to be at their very best from the very minute they come out so that they can live as healthy as possible and new mommies and new daddies don't have to be stressing out as to their babies not feeling right, they're colicky, cranky, not pooping right, they're not eating right, they may be puking. I've heard of the, and I've seen the projectile vomiting kind of stuff. We can help with all that by making sure their spine and nervous system is being checked. So if you're pregnant, Come see me because we can help you with that delivery six hours from start to finish. That's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. So don't hesitate to give me a holler if you live local. If you don't live local and you want to know of a chiropractor that takes care of pregnant mamas and babies, message me. I'll be happy to find one that does that in your area that's close to you. And if you have any questions further about this, please don't hesitate to let me know. If there's a subject you want to know about chiropractic and how that can help with your kiddos, drop me a line. Love to talk about it. So you've been riding in the car with the Cairo. This is Dr. Anita from Mylon Family Chiropractic Center. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you on the next ride.